Donkey Kong is one of Nintendo's oldest characters, dating back to 1981. With Donkey Kong Country, Tropical Freeze releasing on Nintendo Switch this week, it's a great time to look back at the ape's history. Many know DK for his appearances in Mario Kart and Mario Party, but today we'll be focusing on the Kong's solo outings. Let's get started. Donkey Kong started out as one of Nintendo's first villains. The classic 1980s arcade cabinet Donkey Kong introduced us to our favorite ape, as well as Pauline and Mario, who was then known as Jumpman. Players moved along girders and ladders to reach the top of each level. Eventually, Jumpman was reunited with his girl, defeating DK in the process. Then, one year later, the tables were turned in Donkey Kong Jr. In the only Nintendo game to ever feature Mario as the villain, DK's son is tasked with rescuing his dad from behind bars. He does this by collecting a key in each level, and then making his way up to the cage. Donkey Kong Jr. has also been playable in select Mario Kart and Mario Tennis games, but has since been relegated to cameo appearances. There is a lot of fan speculation that the old Donkey Kong Jr. grew up to be the Donkey Kong from the more recent DK games, but that has never been confirmed by Nintendo. In the next Donkey Kong game, DK got a new partner that effectively replaced Donkey Kong Jr. Diddy Kong made his first appearance in Donkey Kong Country for the Super Nintendo. Donkey Kong Country is still considered to be one of the best DK games. It was so successful that it even spawned two sequels, featuring Diddy and Dixie Kong. The Country games kicked off the Kong's everlasting battle against the Kremlings and their evil leader, King K. Rool. It also introduced a large amount of collectibles, a feature that would return in many future DK titles. The unique art style and stellar soundtrack are what keep people coming back to the original Donkey Kong Country to this day. Donkey Kong 64 kicks off with one of the most iconic songs in Nintendo history, the DK Rap. The hot track introduces the DK crew, featuring Donkey and Diddy Kong, as well as three new faces. All five Kongs are playable in the main story and a PvP arena-style multiplayer mode. Diddy now sports peanut guns. Tiny Kong can run up trees. Lanky Kong has elite flexibility and Chunky Kong brings the big guns. There's also Cranky Kong, playing down the sick beats. Donkey Kong 64 is the franchise's only true foray into the 3D space. In 64, Donkey Kong and his friends leave DK's head-shaped house to continue the fight against King K. Rule and his henchmen. The most popular genre during the early 3D era was the Collect-a-Thon 3D platformer. Donkey Kong 64 went out of its way to include as many collectibles as possible in its world. Hundreds of bananas are scattered across the world, to the point of repetitiveness. As Donkey Kong transitioned into the GameCube era, the franchise experimented with a variety of spin-offs. Donkey Kong Jungle Beat used the infamous Konga controller in a fully realized 2D platformer with some epic boss fights, while Donkey Konga used the same peripheral as the center of a rhythm game, which included songs from other Nintendo properties. Jungle Beat took some inspiration from the country games, while on the handheld side, DK was trying something completely new. The Mario vs. Donkey Kong miniseries is a set of spin-offs with unique puzzles and mechanics. Picking up on the threads of the original Donkey Kong arcade game, Pauline returns in the miniseries. She even befriends DK, showing the events of the old games have all been forgiven. The minis games have appeared on DS, 3DS, and Wii U. Finally, back in 2010, Donkey Kong fully makes it back to his roots with Donkey Kong Country Returns. Returns goes back to the basic country formula, with DK and Diddy romping and stomping through DK Island. There are some fun additions to the experience, with beautiful, stylized shadow levels, and some tough-as-nails minecart sections sure to make your palms sweat. With so many different types of Donkey Kong games throughout the years, it was great to see DK re-establish itself as a franchise based around 2D platforming. Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze was a strong follow-up to Returns on Wii U back in 2014. This week, you can experience DK's latest adventure at home and on the go with Nintendo Switch. I'm Logan Plant, thank you for joining me to learn about the history of Donkey Kong. Be sure to keep up with Nintendo Wire for all things Tropical Freeze.